Hello, Hello everybody, everyone. welcome to another video. Today we're going to make some very furry little friends. <laughs> we're going to the cat cafe. And of course we're gonna learn some English, so pay attention and we'll have revision time at the end. Yeah. Let's go for a stroll. A stroll. Before you go to this cafe, you have to make an appointment. Yeah. So you can't just turn up, you have to make an appointment. And our appointment is at five, huh? Uh, it's at five, yeah, and it's ten past five, so we're a little bit late, but this is Spain, so it should be fine. Should be fine. <laughs> this is it, so I can see some people playing with the cats already. And I saw some cakes. are in the cat cafe. What do you think, Isabel? It's like great. It? It's a nice atmosphere, isn't it? Yeah. Philip just ate a whole cake and he didn't wait for us to record. Sorry, I'm really hungry. He was starving because we didn't have lunch today. Here you need to be uh, careful mm. because they have uh, rooms, so they are by the street. So, of course, you cannot feed the cats. Mm -hmm. um, you need to wash your hands before you touch the cats because they are very clean animals. Yeah, and you can't take photos with a flash because you might scare them. Also, you shouldn't pick the cats up because some of them are quite nervous or wake them up if they're sleeping. Yeah, so basically the cats own this place. You are like a guest in their house and you need to, to respect them. Yeah. And there are cats everywhere. There was one that was hidden and suddenly we saw a huge uh, fairy ball coming from, from one of the shelves up there. Yeah. <laughs> with a really grumpy face. The cats look a bit worse for wear. Some of them look like they've had a bit of a tough life. They're all up for adoption. Which one do you want, Isabel? I like the Persian one. So we're going to have this coffee and then shall we play with the cats? Yeah, of course. Let's play with them. Here comes one. Would you like some cake? Yeah. Mmm, delicious. Can I touch you? Are you a friendly cat? There he comes. He's friendly. No, he's very scared, this cat. Eh? Kimmy, no? He's very scared. <laughs> oh, but this is much more fun than looking for. Good luck in England. So he's bringing me good luck. Cats like it when you scratch behind their ears. <laughs> I like that too. Let's stroke this cat. This cat is purring. <laughs> Look at his short tail. This cat is curious but very wary of the camera.
This cat is hungry. This cat is thirsty. And this cat is very playful. Her name is Claire, she's eight years old and she's been up for adoption for two years. And this is Machina Spencer, the most relaxed cat in the cat cafe. She has a grumpy face, but she's very friendly. Bueno, espero que hayas prestado atención, porque ahora viene revision time. ¿Cómo dirías? Vamos a dar un paseo. In English, ¿cómo se dice? Se dice, let's go for a stroll. Y llegamos tarde. In English, we turned up late, a phrasal verb, we turned up late. And, oh, me muero de hambre, tengo mucha hambre. In English, se dice, I'm starving. ¿Y cómo dirías? Parece que está un poco cansado. Como que ha tenido una vida dura. He looks a bit worse for wear. He looks like he's had a tough life. Y ese gato tiene una cola corta y pelo largo. In English, that cat has a short tail and long fur. Ese gato tiene mucha sed. That cat is really thirsty. Y como dirías, cuidado, es un gato muy gruñón. Be careful, it's a very grumpy cat. And the bonus one, ¿qué estoy haciendo? Isabel is purring. That's it, well done. We hope you like this video, see you soon. Bye. Espera. <laughs> 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 <laughs>